Have you ever pondered the ultimate fate of our universe? A question that has tickled the minds of humanity for centuries. It's in our nature, after all, to be captivated by endings. The last page of a book, the final scene of a film, the sunset at the end of the day, these all hold a special allure for us. But what of the grandest finale of all? The end of the universe itself. It's a concept almost too vast to comprehend. And yet, it's a subject that science dares to explore. From the farthest galaxies to the smallest particles, every element of existence is woven into this grand tapestry that we call the universe. And just as with any story, there must inevitably be an end. But what will that end look like? How will it come about? Join me as we delve into the intriguing science behind the end of the universe. To comprehend the end, we must first understand the beginning. Our universe was born from what scientists call the Big Bang, a monumental explosion of energy that occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago. This colossal event marked the inception of time, space and matter as we know it. From that singular point, our universe has been expanding, with galaxies moving away from each other in all directions. This expansion is not a simple matter of celestial bodies moving through space. Instead, it's the fabric of space itself that expands. Imagine a balloon being inflated. The dots on the surface of the balloon, much like galaxies in our universe, move away from each other as the balloon expands. This analogy, albeit simplified, helps us grasp the concept of an expanding universe. Now let's venture into the realm of thermodynamics, specifically the second law, also known as the law of increasing entropy. Entropy, in layman's terms, is the measure of disorder or randomness in a system. The second law states that the total entropy of an isolated system can never decrease over time. It can remain constant in ideal cases where the system is in a steady state or undergoing a reversible process. However, in all real-world processes, the total entropy always increases, leading to a state of maximum disorder. Our universe is no exception to this law. As it ages and expands, the total entropy of the universe increases, leading to a gradual decline in the amount of usable energy. This ongoing dispersal of energy is a key factor that influences the potential destiny of our universe. Now, armed with this knowledge, we can explore the theories about our universe's grand finale. The possibilities are as intriguing as they are terrifying, filled with cosmic catastrophes and mind-bending phenomena. But remember, the end is not necessarily the end. After all, our universe began with a bang. Who's to say it won't end with one only to give birth to another? The universe is a mystery and we are but humble detectives trying to decode its enigmatic riddles. So let's delve deeper into this cosmic conundrum. Imagine a universe slowly dimming, fading into an eternal winter. In the depths of this cosmic winter, we find ourselves contemplating the big freeze theory. This is a chilling proposition, suggesting that our universe is on a one-way journey towards a state of maximum entropy, also known as heat death. But what does this mean? To understand, we first need to grasp the concept of entropy. In simple terms, entropy is a measure of disorder. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that in any isolated system, entropy will always increase. Now apply this concept to our universe. It's continuously expanding, a fact confirmed by the redshift of distant galaxies. As the universe expands, the matter within it is getting more and more dispersed. Stars are moving further apart and the gas clouds that birth new stars are becoming less dense. In this scenario, the universe's entropy is increasing. Over unimaginable lengths of time, this could result in a universe too dispersed, too disorderly to sustain star formation. Stars would flicker out one by one and no new stars would rise to replace them. In this universe, all usable energy is depleted all processes cease. The galaxies, once vibrant and teeming with activity, become dark, silent and lifeless. This is the heat death of the universe, a state of maximum entropy where everything is at the same temperature and no work can be done. This is a slow, lingering end, not a cataclysmic event, but a gradual fading. The universe doesn't go out with a bang, but with a whimper. It doesn't burn out, it freezes. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? A universe slowly dimming, fading, cooling, until it's left in an eternal cosmic winter. A universe where time, as we understand it, ceases to have meaning. A universe drifting towards silence and stillness. A chilling end, isn't it? But hold on, there are more theories to explore. Envision a universe collapsing onto itself, an ultimate implosion. 
This is the crux of our second theory, the Big Crunch. This idea takes us on a journey where the universe, after expanding for billions of years, gradually slows down. The expansion, which started with the Big Bang, succumbs to the relentless pull of gravity. Imagine the universe as a giant cosmic ball thrown upwards. It ascends, slows, and eventually stops at the peak of its trajectory. Then, instead of hovering, it begins a descent, pulled back by Earth's gravity. This is akin to what happens in the Big Crunch theory. The universe, propelled by the energy of the Big Bang, expands but is eventually reined in by the collective gravitational pull of all cosmic matter. As the universe slows, a tipping point is reached. The gravitational forces win the tug of war against the momentum of the initial expansion. The universe then ceases to grow, it stalls, and then it starts to contract. Galaxies, stars and all matter begin rushing towards a common centre. The universe, once vast and ever-expanding, folds onto itself. But what happens when everything in existence is crunched down to an infinitesimally small point? This is where the Big Crunch theory takes an intriguing turn. Some cosmologists suggest that this extreme compaction could trigger another Big Bang, giving birth to a new universe. This concept, known as the cyclic model, proposes a universe that dies and rebirths in an endless loop, like a mythical phoenix rising from its own ashes. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? A universe that is not merely a one-off fireworks display, but a perpetual cycle of creation and destruction. A cosmic dance choreographed by gravity and energy, where the end is merely a prelude to a new beginning. A cyclic universe, forever reborn. Fascinating, isn't it? But there's one more theory to consider. Picture a universe torn apart, shredded by dark energy. A chilling thought, isn't it? This is the essence of our third theory, known as the Big Rip. Imagine the universe as a vast cosmic canvas. In the Big Rip scenario, this canvas doesn't simply fade or fold in on itself. Instead, it's violently torn to shreds. This event is driven by dark energy, a mysterious force that is causing the universe to expand at an ever-accelerating rate. Let's delve deeper. You see, the Big Rip theory proposes that the strength of dark energy could increase over time. If this happens, it could overpower the forces that hold galaxies, stars and even atoms together. The result? A universe that's literally ripped apart. Picture our Milky Way, a swirling galaxy of billions of stars. In the run-up to the Big Rip, the increased dark energy would start tearing galaxies apart. Eventually, individual stars would be flung out into the cosmic void. As the dark energy continues to strengthen, even these stars would be ripped apart, their materials strewn across the universe. But it doesn't stop there. In the final moments of the Big Rip, the very fabric of space-time would be stretched to breaking point. Even the smallest structures, atoms themselves, would be torn asunder. A brutal end to the universe as we know it. Now, what are the implications of an ever-accelerating universe? Well, if the universe continues to expand at an ever-increasing rate, we could be headed for a future where the stars outside our galaxy become unreachable. The night sky would become increasingly dark and empty, a chilling prelude to the Big Rip. A dramatic finale indeed, but remember, these are just theories. We're still far from understanding the true nature of dark energy and the fate of our universe. These theories serve to push the boundaries of our understanding, to question and to explore the infinite cosmic playground that is our universe. So, what is the end of the universe? We've navigated through the chilling potential of the Big Freeze, where the universe expands into a cold, lifeless abyss. We've delved into the possibility of the Big Crunch, where everything we know could collapse into a singularity, and we've contemplated the ominous Big Rip, where galaxies, stars, even atoms could be torn apart. Three theories, each as fascinating as they are terrifying, but the truth is we simply don't know. Science is a journey, not a destination. Each theory represents countless hours of research, unyielding curiosity and a passionate pursuit of knowledge. Yet, the end of the universe remains a question mark, an enigma shrouded in cosmic mystery. But that's what makes this journey so compelling. The uncertainty, the ongoing research, the burning questions, they fuel our quest for understanding. The end of the universe, a question that continues to captivate us, a mystery that remains unsolved. But isn't that the beauty of science?